A brand new one temp scale street drift car from FTX. Yes, FTX, that a lot of you still go, Ugh. And I don't know why, well, I do know why you go, eh. It's because you're still stuck in like, I don't know, 2015 or something. So this is the Stinger. Like I said, a one temp scale on-road brushless street drift car. And it looks, <laughs> it looks very nice. And it looks like something in particular. It's 99% ready to run. Not many brands out there that will send you a one temp scale RTR that comes with a LiPo so you can get straight out on the street. Well, with this one, you can get straight out to play. Well, once you've added batteries to your transmitter. I think these are manufactured by Dunbar RC. They're actually really good. They're used in like the Rolalos and stuff. This one's a four channel. You've got your steering trim, throttle trims and jewel rates under there. But these are a decent transmitter and they have a really nice range on them as well. Comes with a charger. This will charge 2S or 3S. I'm hoping this runs 3S. I'm pretty sure it does. It comes with a 2S LiPo. As well as the road tyres that will be fitted to that. It also comes with these like street drift tyres now. Now, they're not... Well, they are hard, but they're not like, you can feel a little bit of softness to them. So they should be good for the street. Instructions, some Velcro there for, I guess, maybe to help your body stay on. And an optional sway bar. So if you want, you can fit a sway bar or anti-roll bar to it. Stop going on and show us the car. Okay. Wow, I am liking this one. It looks so cool. Yay, no body rattle. <laughs> I think that Velcro is to stick them sides actually. Metal gears, they're actually sealed, sealed diffs as well, so they should have oil in them. That is good. Has it got lights? Yes, it has. Whoa, <laughs> that's got a lot of lights. Now, is it gonna spoil it for me and have indicators? Nice quick release battery strap. There's your 2,500 milliamp hour 2S hard case LiPo. Look how easy this goes in. Slot it in there, push it in there, easy. So we have a 3,300 kV 3652 brushless motor. Under there is a, I think it's a 60 amp Hobbywing ESC. And I'm hoping it runs 3S. It's that one, I believe, and it will run 3S, so that's good. That is a 15 kilo Metal Gear servo. And then there's your receiver there that's got the little connector for your lights. Adjustable camber on the front, non-adjustable toe. Adjustable camber on the rear. Metal CVDs in there, there'll be bearings all around as well. Metal dog bones on the rear. Oil shocks that actually don't feel too bad. That's nice. Don't think they're adjustable collars though. Valance or front spoiler. Rear diffuser there with some nice tailpipes. And then look how smooth it is underneath. Nothing is screwed through the bottom. The front spoiler's on there with like hex hardware, same as the rear. But I guess everything is fixed down from the top and it is all hex hardware. So that is good to see. Shaft driven four wheel drive. So there's your metal center shaft there. And as I've already said, it has got metal sealed diffs in this and you can hear they're metal gears. I think we're gonna take this top cover off just to look at the pinion and spur, see what's going on in there. So we've got an adjustable motor mount there. Looks like it's got preset holes and then a plastic spur gear. Looks like there's a bit of room for a different spur as well, whether you can get them, I don't know, but that looks good to me. Right, let's have a look at these lights and the controls. Right, so we've got Right, here we go. Indicators, please no. Ah, it's got them. Although, saying that, nah, you can't really see it. However, I like this feature. The frame rate's making it look like they're all uh, moving. Hang on, look. Look at the indicator, look. That is so cool. I actually really like that. They don't flicker like that. That's the camera frame rate. It has got a gyro. wonder if you can adjust that. I reckon it might be that one. Channel 5. Yeah, there we go. Adjustable gyro, that's really cool. So I've turned it all the way off. So front wheels, no movement, turn it up half. Nice. That is a cool feature because some people like driving without a gyro, some prefer one. So steering, not too bad. And then throttle. Now this is only on 2S, remember? Now you get like a white light on full throttle. I'm glad you can't really see the indicators on the front and the rear just looks cool. So let's go see how fast it is on 2S, how fast it is on 3S. And then we're going to take it for a little street rip and then we'll swap the wheels over and give it a bit of a drift. Or for the purists out there, 
a slide. So quick size comparison, it's actually quite a small one temp. It's the same size as the associated Hoonicorn, which is a small one temp. So if we put it next to a one temp, that's a MST. That's a GT86, which are quite a small car. This is meant to be an American muscle car, and you can see, and you can see it's a little bit small. Obviously the one temp is done on the wheelbase and the chassis, but with a big like Challenger style body on it. Definitely on the small side. Looks so good though, doesn't it? It's so nice to have an RC car that just sounds and drives nice and smooth. I've not speed run it yet. I'm doing this before the speed run, so I don't know how fast it is, but this is on the stock supplied LiPo. <laughs> it is good fun, really good fun. Look at that, no gyro on there. I'm gonna go and do the speed run in a minute and then, uh, then we'll throw a 3S in it and uh, give it a good rip around. Whoa. Uh, but I think 3S is probably going to be a bit too much for it. <laughs> this is nice. Right, 2S run. That is full throttle. That's fast on two. No, that's not it. I didn't start it, did I? Right, that was from my last run. Right, let's try again. Yeah, it's fast on 2S, but it's not 37 mile an hour. I don't think it is anyway. Full throttle, two cell. Oh, I like it. Well, it's good with the lights as well. Sun's going down, you can see the lights really well. Nice. No way. No way that does 37 mile an hour on the stock supplied battery. That's crazy. 37. It's 59 kilometers an hour. Right, this may be an issue running this 3S. <laughs> it may be too powerful. If it's doing 37 on two, that's 50 mile an hour plus, almost 60 maybe. I don't think we're gonna be able to control it on the stock wheels and tires. No, no, no. <laughs> Imagine it being too fast out of the box, eh? Oh, my days. Good thing is you've got a massive range on this transmitter. Oh man. Oh no. <laughs> no. Please don't be broken. Please don't be broken. Spoilers off. Mirrors off. I need to find my mirror. I haven't done a, <laughs> I haven't done a video for FTX yet. Right, I'm gonna have to have a look for my mirror in a minute. Let's see how fast that was. <laughs> 53, it's got more in it. I reckon it's got 58 in it or something like that. That is way too fast on 3S. I managed to save it. I found the wing mirror, little bit of CA glue on the spoiler. <laughs> We're good. So I thought before I do any more ripping around with it, we'll throw the drift wheels and tires on and we'll go see how it slides around. Just one thing to note though, before we do go and drift it, the inbuilt gyro was round the wrong way. I.e. when you turn in that direction, the wheels were turning in that direction. So all, all it was doing was sending it all the way around. Really easy to change. You just double tap, there's a little button there. You just do a double tap in there and it reverses that gyro. Hopefully they're not all like that, but if they are, all you need to do, double tap in there and it reverses it. Tap it three times by mistake, it'll switch the gyro off. So just do it three times again and the gyro will come back on again. And also I noticed yesterday, check out this light sequence when you switch it on, it's so cool. So gyro set to about 50%. Yes. <laughs> perfect surface for, well, perfect surface for it. Obviously it's not a proper rear wheel drive drifter, but you can get this thing sliding around really well. And there's two reasons I brought it here. One, because of the slippery surface. And secondly, because you can make some cool montages at this skate park.
Now that was too much fun. I burnt through two packs. I was down at skate park for over an hour. It was so much fun. Trying to get some cool slow-mo shots and it was just a lot of fun. The only thing I did notice, I don't know if it's because it's the warm weather because it is hot out there at the moment, but tires do slide off the wheels. So if you hit a little bit of a curb or something, just pushes that tire off. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm putting the road tires back on because I didn't really get a long enough time to uh, give it a rip around. So I wanna go and give it another rip around. You can slide it on these as well. So you don't have to put them plastic wheels on. Rear wheels are wider than the front, but man, this thing <laughs> was great fun. Right, we're on pack number four now. <laughs> this thing's just so much fun. I've turned the gyro right off. Don't really need it with uh, these tires. You don't really need it anyway. Being that it's four wheel drive, it's pretty easy to control without it. I still can't believe it does 37 mile an hour straight out the box. It's insane. Absolutely insane speed. It's almost too fast, really. I guess you could gear it down a bit and then you could run 3S if you really wanted to. Because there's absolutely no way you could run this on 3S just like this. It's too much power for it. I mean, look at it on two. Straight out of the box. It's not many little one-tenth scales that can do that. Oh, go on then, we're here, aren't we? <laughs> Whack the gyro up to about 25%. Let's rip it on some dust. <laughs> oh man. Beautiful. So there's the FTX Stinger and I haven't really got anything bad to say about it. If anything, it's too fast, but you can turn the throttle down. So, so you can turn it down. So if you want to get it for your kids or let your kids have a go, or if there's someone who's not driven an RC car before, you can tame it because straight out of the box, they're just going to go into a curb and <laughs> smash it. Although it held up really well considering I had Quite a major crash at the beginning, but I did manage to fix it. And we did have a few tumbles at the skate park as well. Front spoiler's a bit messed up, but overall, it's tough. It's really fast, and I think it's gonna do really well for FTX. Now, before you click off, or for those that have already clicked off, you're not gonna be seeing this bit, so you're gonna ask me in the comments, but there's lots of countries you can't get FTX in. But if you really want one, go on AliExpress, and you can get one. It's not an FTX stinger, but from what I can see, it's exactly the same. Cheers for watching.